The district attorney's office did bring more kidnapping charges against the two suspects. They are accused of abducting uh, Brandon Cuellar April 25th. Brandon was found unharmed the next day, but the district attorney's office says the suspects actually tried three times before they succeeded. Crown Force Rob Nesbitt was in the courtroom today. He joins us live from San Jose with details on the new charges. Rob. Pam, three charges of attempted kidnapping were added to the list for Yesenia Ramirez and Jose, Jose Portillo. The DA's office says that the pair first tried to kidnap baby Brandon when he was just one month old. Yesenia Ramirez and Jose Portillo sat in court Thursday, one in front of the other, never making eye contact with each other. The DA's office says they were in contact for several months in an effort to take baby Brandon Cuellar. They have been planning, coordinating, and attempting to kidnap him since the beginning of March. According to the DA's office, Portillo first showed up to the family's home on March 14th in an attempt to kidnap Brandon, posing as a child protective services worker. He eventually left after the family became suspicious and called CPS themselves. The investigation found that text messages between the two suspects showed they tried to kidnap the baby from a local Walmart twice, the first time at the end of March, and again the morning they were successful in taking Brandon from his home. I mean, it's absolutely shocking. This is, I think, any parent's worst nightmare. Defense attorney for Ramirez, Cody Selfin, maintained his client's innocence Thursday, saying she's terrified about the charges against her. These allegations are, are absolutely a first for her, uh, and, and she wants very much to get back to her life. Selfin says he hasn't seen the text messages that brought about the attempted kidnapping charges and questions their validity. We don't know who was behind those phones, and we also have an, the added layer of, of a translation from Spanish language to English language. The DA's office would not comment on a motive in the kidnapping, and the judge did not set bail today because of the added charges of attempted kidnapping. Uh, Portillo and Ramirez are scheduled to be back in court on June 7th. Live in San Jose, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News. Thank you, Rob.